What if I had a vagina? I'd be a girl. Yeah. I'll show it up my ass. I'll show it up my ass. I'll have the freaking cord hanging out my ear. All right. Yes, Trump is getting rid of the IRS. The IRS is going to transition. The IRS is, is going to transition. In you know what? By the way, maybe after coronavirus fails? Guys, back to ground zero. Trump got us again. Go with plan B, the comet. Doomsday, go with it. CNN, MS, uh, the doomsday comet. Fix has never seen an alien. Um, no, I've been abducted a few times, I believe. I, I'm saying that with a dead serious face. I think three times that I can. I, I don't remember them fully. Right? Because it's a bioweapon. It's out and about. We've got to deal with it. It's not seasonal flu. These guys are assholes. The, the leadership is just dumb fucks. As we see as they die. Okay? And they'll continue to die. So, here's, here's the strategy. Welcome to the series on the crypto crazies of YouTube and today we're featuring Bitcoin Ben and uh, If you guys know his predictions, you know, he is almost never right <laughs> and uh, He is interesting to watch but uh, He has become really a conspiracy theory nut job wackadoodle like you wouldn't believe now and uh, We really think you should go back to driving a truck but anyway, no further ado, here we go. There we go. Litecoin is the right coin. And I'm telling you guys right now, Litecoin, $100 within two weeks. My words, it keeps going up. And it's, it's true on-chain transactions that are pushing the price up. Not re remember the on chain transactions are the floor of the manipulated market. So, now there's another example Atlas, the comet. Um, you know, those of us who study the night sky, uh, this was never a threat to us, but uh, you know, I, I don't even think Ben knows how to use binoculars, much rather in a telescope. But to him, it was the end of the world. Going into a new world. Uh, I cannot announce it publicly what's going on not available not authorized um, look up c19 and I don't mean COVID-19. To see more about it. Because uh, I can't hide it anymore. Do me a favor and join the Patreon group. Trust me. Been woke up in the middle of the night with our house being uh, filled with SWAT to having the answer. <laughs> and the FBI going, Hey, could you get your house? <laughs> uh, FBI, whoever, I promise you that I will not say anything about the event on this public channel. Everything I say about the event will be on my Patreon channel and the video will be set to private. The Lord has commanded me to strike the earth. 
the only people that will be able to know what I'm saying is people who choose it. Agreed? You gotta let the people know. Uh, now he's using his Sue YouTube um, coalition with First Amendment level. Basically, he's trying to make money every month. This is complete bullshit, but listen to him. Because then we actually talk about the events. Okay, the let's events. Come check this out. Available. You know, and what, what I'll also give you is every video I put on Patreon, I'll actually repost this in St. Louis. There were only 25 houses out of power yesterday. One of them was mine. Then this morning, after they repaired it yesterday, I noticed what they did. They actually ran a separate line just to my house. <laughs> Literally, it's only to my house. These guys are assholes. The, the leadership is it's just not dumb fucks. To that house. It's not to that house. It's only to my house. With him for investors on the $20 level of my Patreon. XRP is going to go up, but as you know, I don't actually buy XRP. And it's, uh, it's the equivalent of actually buying an ugly hooker. What's the point? <laughs> if you're going to buy a hooker, get a good looking one. Okay, that's a bad joke, but still. When a dumb redneck goes over and tries to say Deutschmark, <laughs> he called it a douchemark. Dude, you're a douchemark. <laughs> douchemark, yes. No Germany, no Europe. They are the labor. I'm not to, but since I actually dollar cost value in, it doesn't even, it doesn't even work for me. Oh yeah, thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. Lone Wolf. It's, it's, yeah, you get older, and one night, you, sometimes you gotta take them. I'm just saying. But anything other than that, to kiss my lily white ass. Because Trump and us, the patriots, are trying to save a country about the four horses of the apocalypse and the Jewish guy on a pony. The Jewish guy on the pony is Tone Ray. Right? The four horses show up and they break all of the seals. But Tone Vey on his pony apparently announces the Golden Cross. And then all hell breaks loose. Jesus shows up, all of the dead rise, and we're all good. So it's a uh, Needless to say, some stuff's going down. Yes, yes, yes. George Soros, in his younger days, helped the Nazis kick the Jews out and steal their stuff. Once a Nazi, always a Nazi. Whoa, George Soros is a Jewish Hungarian. Uh, not really going to be compatible with Nazis. <laughs> but um, this is what the right-wing conspiracy nutbags do. What they do is they attack their political opponents by giving them labels and try to find these outlandish things. Like, uh, um, imagine uh, if they did the left did the same thing to them with saying that, you know, uh, Trump is part of some sex cult with Jeffrey Epstein or something like that. It's not true, but it's this. it would be akin to the same thing. But here, here's something that is true. Where's your white boy? 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 Where's your white boy?
what a retard. And so Trump went over and, and uh, retweeted the white power message by this. Um, he's done this way too many times, and he's retarded uh, is the only thing I could think. But, you know, judging by followers like Bitcoin Ben, they share something in common. <laughs> They're all mentally handicapped, obviously. Um, there's no way your boy's getting reelected. He's done. And I hope you're able to accept it. There's only about four months to go. Um, so, you know, enjoy the time and say bye-bye to your boy, Bitcoin Ben. Anyway. All right, well, Bitcoin Ben is not a bad guy. And, you know, he is kind of easy to make fun of because of the fact that the things he says kind of deserves it. So I'm not going to say anything like that. But he is a crypto influencer, and I do support them. You know, anybody who supports crypto, I support them. And uh, except for maybe John McAfee, which he's just a... a crazy criminal and probably belongs in jail so I don't support him but I would support Bitcoin Ben and uh, you know if you'd like to go over and get a Litecoin little t-shirt which is the cat he owns that he abuses too much on YouTube in my opinion so I'm not going to show you any clips of the cat because uh, of him abusing him because that's just wrong uh, in my opinion um, and more than a few times I want to call the ASPCA on him but you know I'll I'll let it go. He wasn't too bad. But uh, other than that, you know, we, I support Bitcoin Ben. And I like his old videos more than his new ones. I don't understand what the fuck's wrong with him. He needs to go back to being a truck driver and, and just regaining his sanity. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Next week, we'll have a new one. And I'll see you then. And yes, midget tossing is allowed in heaven. It's in the Bible. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> well, if it's not when I get up there, I'll uh, I'll put in a good word for for midget wrestling and tossing. Zippy sandwich. Hang on a second. Watch out for my big butt. You gotta find Snippy's head. Snippy's head's gone. Oh, there it is. Ah. Remember to disobey. <laughs> uh, a steak in a room, fellas, a steak in a room. Let's put old Snippy back up there. Tell him, my friend, you're about to lose your plucking mind, my friend, because Bitcoin is going to start going up and going up quickly. And your little charts are going to be irrelevant. Tone Bay's little charts are going to be toilet paper. <laughs> this guy's the biggest redneck ever. <laughs> ETC, 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 says Steve. Well, thank you, Steve. Hmm. <laughs> I got like a bug in my mouth. Uh, hey, Big Ben, wow, two videos. If, if I got to leave the country and shoving what looks like a keychain up my ass is how I get my money out, ha, I'm good. I'll shove it up my ass. I'll shove it up my ass. I'll have the freaking cord hanging out my ear. It will look like an earring. Uh, oh, let's see. Yes, correct. It means peace in Jewish. Oh, well, thank you very much. Shalom to you too, my friend. But I can't. Because um, I get distracted. Squirrel. Um, they're all... <laughs> hey, Ben, you look younger today. Thank you. So, the old system... Love your wife, love your kids, love your family, love the people that love you. Number three, get out there and kick some ass. Even on a rainy day, kick some rainy ass. I love you guys, and have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye, guys. I love you guys. You guys, uh, you, you all have a great evening. Number one, love yourself. 
you guys are bad mother pluckers. Now get out there and bad mother pluck it. Number two. Number two. Love your wife, your kids, your family, your friends. Everyone who loves you, love them back. They deserve it. Number three, kick ass. Everything you do, get out there and kick ass at it. And number four, dream. Dream huge. Dream big. Dream as big as you can dream. And then do it. Enjoy your life and do it. You guys are amazing. You guys are magic. Now go out there and spread the magic. Love you guys. Have a great evening. And I will 